What's going on, people? So, the whole top 10 of 2021s and all that stuff that people were doing, I did a couple of those, right? Because I, I did the ones that made sense to do anyways. But the whole just top 10 overall thing, like, I, I think I'm just kind of over that. that. Which is why I didn't really get too into doing one of these earlier, right? But since I did cover this somewhat during my live thing, I figure I'll make another video real quick just to kind of, you know, have it like, so it's documented or whatever in case I want to go back to this and check something or whatever later. You know, maybe years down the line, who knows? Or maybe I just won't post this for a while and then I'll post it later and I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But we'll see what happens. But either way, just know that these, while not like my top 10, because obviously there's more than 10 boxes, it's really just shoes that I picked up last year that I thought were pretty cool, you know? And the thing is like dwindling however many pairs I bought last year down to 10, that would have been an ordeal in itself that I just didn't care to get into. So I just kind of scrolled through all the videos that, well, scroll through all the folders of reviews that I've made because it's a little easier that way. Just scroll through all that crap and I was like, yeah, this one, this one, this one, until I got to the end. And so now we're gonna talk about those real quick. Probably not real quick. I mean, let's be honest, like the last couple videos I did like this weren't quick. So I don't think that this one would be. Though if you watch this stuff like 2x or whatever, given the way that I speak and all that stuff, you'll probably still be able to follow it fairly easily and it'll save you some, some sort of amount of time. Stack number one. Let's knock this thing out. This is only oh yeah, these right here. These are the Aquatone Hirachis, right? So, and, and I apparently got these from N, so I definitely really wanted them when they came out. They also match up with like my high school colors. So when I went up to Woodside and Newport News, similar colors, right? So that's pretty cool. But even past that, that's it's just a combination that I don't see often, at least not that I can think of, but it works very well, very well. So there you go, Hirachis. And in case you're wondering, these are actually in order, right? Alphabetically, by model, not anything past that. So there you go. Sometimes, some people or whatever might say that, oh, those are just Hirachis, right? Yeah, and I get that. So the H should be a little bit later. But given that the whole name is like actually like the Air Hirachi, that's kind of why it's here instead of there, somewhere. This should have been after these, I guess, after the Gs. But I don't know. It's a Nike thing. I don't have to make sense of it. And I guess you have to do the A, right? So. Moving on, the Air Max Plus 3. So, these right here, I really wanted these when they were relevant, you know? But given how the first pair worked out, I figured I could wait for a sale, and I waited for that sale, and the sale came, but then I just kinda like forgot to buy them, cause that's the thing that happens when you wait for a sale, right? You forget. So later on, I was just like, screw it, I'm just not gonna have those, because whatever. And then Nike brought them back on their own website last year, and they had them for a decent price under retail. And I was like, well, look at this. Everything's working out. And now here we are with these. I have worn them according to that. So cool. That's that's always a good thing. Probably not a lot, you know, because if you saw the whole thing that I was doing last year, you know that everything I wore got very little attention. But some is more than none, and I'll take some as a win. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, okay, fair enough. This is the Air More Up Tempo. I've talked about these a lot lately, you know? So I did want these, like I said in the past, right? I wanted them back in 2019 and I missed out. So when 2021 rolled around and I saw them hanging around, I thought it was a pair still from 2019 that they just never sold or just found in the back. So I was like, oh yeah, look at that, my lucky day. No, not really, because they came out fully in other stores later and definitely went on a huge sale so had I not gone to that store that day, I could have still got these and saved a fair amount of money. On the upside, I think I made like 30 to $50 or something in ad money on these. So that kind of balances out, which is kind of why I don't mind buying certain things early because like the ad revenue can kind of like offset it just a little bit. Uh, and here we go again, the Midwest kids, hopefully for the last time. Because again, this whole wrapping up the shoe thing is just like, why, why are you doing this, Adidas? Like, you know, what are, what are you trying to prove here? 
I mean, I get it. You know, like, I don't want to keep them from getting all rubbed up and all that crap. But either way, here's the thing. This is the Adidas Form 84 Low in the Midwest Kids colorway or whatever. So I've said a couple times before that I really just like the way this came out, right? And they actually feel pretty decent for a shoe of this style. So that's another plus, at least in my opinion. If you want some more details and you want some close-ups of all the, all the little extras, there is a review on the internet. One of them is even mine, so you can watch that one. I'd prefer you watch that one, but the other ones are probably pretty good too. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of stuff. Stack number two. Oh, right, right, right. So these right here, this is the Asics Gel Light 3 made to commemorate the Patronus Towers in Malaysia with a little assist from Sneaker Law, as it says on the back, right? Now here's the thing. These are two Gel Light 3s, this one and the next one, right? So this, the Patronus Towers, and the next one being the Katamatsus, right? I wasn't sure how to put those in order, so I just went by like the color on the side of the box. And P comes before W, at least last time I checked, so that's why we are where we are. Though Patronus comes before Katamatsu, so you can kind of go either way, right? But these, like I said before, are a very, very good I don't know, example of how a collaboration shoe should be done. Like they took their inspiration or whatever, and they just kind of nailed it as far as bringing all kinds of aspects of it into these. So super into this particular pair for that reason and that reason alone. The look is fine, right? It's not something I would normally jump on just because of the way it kind of is. There's a lot going on there. But I I can't fault them for anything about it as far as like the actual execution, you know? And these right here, these, because they were kind of one of those ones that I, unex I didn't expect to be as highly regarded, at least for me, as they were. Because when I looked at the pack, it was the one that I liked the least, easily. But when I got them in hand, then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm not a huge fan, like the laces can be a little waxy on some of these, but otherwise, I just like the pure visual or whatever, like this is, this is a tough one to beat in my personal opinion, you know? So that's why they are where they are. And for the price, you get some very nice solid materials on here, right? So that's, that's one of the things about Asics, you know? You can't go wrong with them and they're going to be comfortable and they're going to give you some good value for your money so it's kind of like while everybody's running around trying to get the latest jordan or whatever you can just casually stroll on over to the adidas or to the asics website when you get some time and just put your order in whenever you're you know between other things so i like that aspect of it you know it also gives you time to think so you don't have to say like oh let me run and get these and before they sell out and blah 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 these right here this, <clears throat> this is a very cool one in my opinion. Now, I'm not, I'm not doing it again, but the waterproof aspect of these, like if you saw the video, the actual review that I did of these, you saw how that works and it's pretty fantastic. Now, the other thing is like the, the suede on here, you know, it's that's pretty good too, you know, especially when you consider this is just like your standard van shoe, nothing special about it, right? I don't remember what the cost was or anything like that, but I was like, hey man, that's some cool green and it's a suede thing with like some other stuff going on. Easily, easily a shoe worth picking up, right? So I don't know if they're still around or whatever. I think they have, I know they made more than one color, so maybe some of the other colorways are still around, if not, but it's one of those things, like if you dig around through like Zappos and those various other pages, you can probably still find those. See what's going on in here. Make sure I got the right box, and I did. This is an Adidas Ultra 4D in some kind of gray and pink colorway, right? So this whole thing, and this actually almost comes off as like a, as a greenish gray out the bottom where like the 4D is. But this combination of colors, it's kind of like weird how it works, you know? But it, it works. So you got all this gray and white. Well, it's not even white. It's kind of like an off-white. And then you have this like out of nowhere this pink you know blending into this orange and it just comes off as like a pretty well done look i don't know what made them think to do that but they did it and eventually they finally went on sale and i was able to get a pair because at 180 i do like these and i kind of see to some extent why the price is where it is 
But knowing that stuff like this doesn't sell out, kind of like I was talking about with the Asics a second ago, then it was nice. I was like, okay, I'll just wait it out. Somebody's going to have these on sale. And at first I thought I was going to end up getting through, getting them through like Foot Locker or Champs or something because they had a pretty good sale there too. But then Adidas brought in an equally good sale. So I bought them from them because, you know, why not? I like to go straight to the source when I can. I'm pretty sure I've worn these. This doesn't look like I have though. I have to, I have to double check the archives. Let's move on, let's move on, keep this thing going. On to stack number, was this three, I suppose? This is an Ultra Boost 21. Now, some might wonder why the Ultra Boost 22 isn't on this list. Well, the Ultra Boost 22 color was only so okay. This right here though, this one, I was like, now this, this is something amazing. And it was like one of the first color, it was, the second wave of colorways that Adidas made for these. They had the first wave as kind of like pre-orders as like so you could see what was going to be coming out. And then on the actual release day, that's when they posted this one along with a few others. And so I made the order for these because it said that my other order was going to be delayed. So I made this order, then I went to cancel the other one. I'm like, nah, it's too late to cancel that one. So I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna have both. And this one, Definitely like V1, in my opinion. The other one's fine, sure, but I really like the way this coloring is. You know, like this whole neon thing, like I showed you like the pink on, on the bottom and all that stuff. And as far as improvements over the 20, solid. And that's kind of where the gray area came in for putting the 21 or the 22s on here. Because the 22s kept all the good things. They kept all the good things about the 21s but made some improvements that I didn't think needed to be made. So 22s, yeah, they're better. It's just that the colorway doesn't win. So there you go. Sometimes you gotta take everything into consideration. And then you have these, which I'm talking about hopefully for the last time as well. So I bought a pair of these for my brother. He's super into them, you know, he got a on black light with them so he could kind of see what they were all about or whatever. But this, as far as my Glow in the Dark Ultra Boost is my favorite pair because it just has a little bit more happening with it. But the other one is fine too as far as like if you want something that's kind of like more s subtle, right? Kind of depends on you. But this one right here, this is my pick. And it was nice to be able to get something that was Glow in the Dark. Because those Wings 5s, while cool, definitely not nearly as wearable, right? So that's something to consider as well, you know what I'm saying? Now, moving along, moving along, we have this here. This is the Ash Blue Easy 350, right? So as I've said countless times, I do really like this. It might be the best 350 that came out last year. Those MX Oats might be number two. I'd have to double check and go back over the ones that I picked up and all that stuff. But just know this, I bought these and it was one of the 350s that I am pretty into. So that's not um, that's not common so much lately. You know, the first couple years I was getting all these 350s and they were all pretty nice. Then they kind of took a weird turn, made them all start looking alike. Then this year, they last year they took a weird turn and just made, made some odd color choices, honestly. But this one right here, this one I'm really into, the old ash blue. So I think it's it's one of the lesser washed ones if I recall correctly. So that probably means if you're looking for a pair of these, they may not set you back a whole lot, but I will stand by the fact that if they are asking for more than 220 to not buy them, because 220 is retail and no shoe should be paid for more than that, right? Just because the people all say, oh, resellers are ruining things. Like, no, the people that are paying the prices that these resellers are asking are ruining things. So, on to letter Z. Right here, we have these flaming moves, right? Now these are pretty nice. Looks like there's something on the side of that that I never noticed, but these are the flaming moves, pretty nice. I really like the way they did these. It's got some pretty cool little materials going on over here. Kind of gives you like a slightly premium feel, even though like the materials aren't like, you know, off the wall crazy or whatever. But I, I just like everything about how this was done, you know? I don't remember much about the episode, but I do remember a lot of good memories of The Simpsons. So 
that's kind of cool in itself, right? And got the little thing on the bottom there, the lace debris as they call it. So yeah, the flaming Mo's, definitely nice. I mean, I know some people will say that various other ones were better than these, you know, as far as the Adidas Simpsons shoes, but that is the one that I have decided with personally. Now, this one, right? This one was kind of set off to the side because it's a special sort of case, right? One thing I can stand by, like I can't rank these as far as best to least favorite or whatever, but I will say my shoe of the year is, was it an actual easy choice last year? And an unexpected one because it's this right here, the Pegasus Trail 3. Now I know some people are probably thinking like of all the shoes you got, like that's the shoe of the year. Yeah, that's why I said it. So here's the thing, right? These, for one, I like trail shoes, right? I do. If you've seen things, like I got a whole playlist about it, like I picked up a number of them over the over the time I've been doing this or whatever. But it's kind of hard to find a good one, right? They have some where like they'll look pretty decent. They'll have some that feel pretty decent. You know, it's kind of one of those like you often find one of the columns checked, right? Not always do you get all of them. But this right here, just like the overall construction of the shoe, like got the snag free stuff going on on the upper, still has a pretty decent look, like had a wide variety of colors. So I picked up this pair for me and I picked up two pairs, like for my mom and my dad. And I, looking at all those, I was like, man, like all these colors are nice. Like if they were all available for me, like I don't know which one I'd buy, you know? And then you got this whole React thing going on on the bottom here. And that feels really good too, especially like on, in a trail environment because it still gives you like all the grip and stuff you want for like the traction, but it feels really comfortable, right? So sometimes, again, trail shoes can feel a little clunky, you know, they can feel a little bigger than they need to and all that good stuff. But this is just like the perfect build, you know? So I was really into it and the price is solid. So I, like I said, I bought these. My parents and I, we went out and we did, a little nature walk for an hour or so through you know one of the local areas and stuff they were super into them and all that so i also have a pretty good memory with these now so that's something that's not to be taken lightly but just the shoe itself yeah i would definitely suggest a pair of these they do have a gore-tex pair which i haven't tried out yet or whatever but just the standard one that's what we're talking about here yeah thumbs up for me all around so very nice and that's what we're ending with from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm on to record something about some Yeezys or something. So not those marshes, or not the, the rocks, the marshes this time. So I'm going to go do that. Later, people.